people's imagination is, uh, is limitless, really. And I think uh, mythical creatures like dragons, in a way, give a little bit of a, of a picture in, into people's uh, minds, into the imagination of people, and give a p little picture into uh, cultures themselves, uh, because the type of creature uh, that, that fit into what we call mythological creatures uh, varies from culture to culture. In this show we have at the Science Center, covers a whole range of mythological creatures, creatures that live on land like the unicorn and, and the Sasquatch, creatures that live in the water like the mythological kraken, which may have been uh, based on a giant squid, dragons, creatures that fly in this uh, giant flightless birds, I guess that would be a land creature, um, that actually existed, but pe travelers would come back saying that they had seen this giant bird that could carry off elephants and stuff. This exhibit contains uh, a mixture of, of wonderful models representing what we think these things might lo have looked like, or might look like. Some real artifacts, which could be the basis of some of these myths. Um, artistic, other artistic representations of them. Representations of mythical creatures from different cultures, ranging from, from Europe to Southeast Asia. So it gives the broad range of a number of mythical creatures from, from uh, all over the world, um, covering the land and the sea and the air. Having an exhibit like this at a science center uh, helps us to examine this, uh, what goes on in the human mind, shows, in a way, uh, some of scientific endeavor because what scientists are trying to do is, is find out what's, how the world works, what's going on. And, and if you find something that looks like a, a strange thing, you try to figure out what it is. In the past, they, they didn't have the analytical techniques we have now, so they would just assume that this, this great creature existed, no longer exists, or maybe it exists and it's, it likes to stay away from humans, so we really haven't seen them except for so-and-so who went traveling and says they still saw one. So really, mythological creatures, the, the kinds of things that are, are showing in this ex exhibition, really are windows into the human mind into our, in the, and also into human culture and societies as well.